Hi, I'm Glenna Cleek with First United Methodist Church in Benton. My dad was a wonderful man. He was loving, he was kind, he was generous. I have hundreds of stories about his goodness. I know he wasn't perfect, but I sure thought he was. In 1997, at the age of 76, Dad fell from the attic onto the concrete garage floor. And for the next month, he suffered in the hospital before he died. During that month, I prayed for him constantly. And I remember one day saying to God, Lord, he's such a wonderful man. He's so good. Please don't let him suffer. But it came to me that God didn't deliver his son from suffering. And he was perfect. But because of his great love for us, he allowed him to suffer and die on the cross crucified, dead, and buried so that sinful people could be forgiven. The Bible has much to say about suffering, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. In Psalms 51, 55, David is obviously going through some suffering. And in verse 2, he prays, he prays to God and he says, Please listen and answer me, for I am overwhelmed by my troubles. In Matthew 26, 39, Jesus, knowing his time has come, goes to the Garden of Gethsemane and prays. He prays an agonizing prayer, lying face down on the ground, he, he prays, My Father, if it, is, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Jesus prays that same prayer three times. Now, going back to Psalm 55, in verse 6, David prays, Oh, how I wish I had wings like a dove. Then I would fly away and rest. I wonder if Jesus felt that same way when he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yet, he was willing to stay and complete God's mission for him. Haven't we all been in situations where we wish and even pray that God would just somehow, some way, remove the suffering. When Dad lay suffering, I think I knew that it was inevitable that he would soon be leaving his earthly home. Yet I wanted to say to God, please remove this cup. Now, later in Psalm 55, in verse 17, David says, I plead aloud in my distress, and the Lord hears my voice. I have no doubt that God heard my prayer when I prayed for my dad. But his answer was to take him to his heavenly home, and there he would have no more suffering. In the eternal scheme of things, our suffering here on earth lasts but for a moment. And we should never lose sight of the fact that we have an eternal life awaiting us all because of the pain and suffering of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As Easter approaches, let us focus on two things. First, that God allowed his son 
to suffer for us so that our sins could be forgiven. He loves us that much. And second, that Jesus was willing to suffer a horrible death on the cross in order to fulfill his Father's plan. Happy Easter. Pray with me. Gracious God, we are overwhelmed at your love for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And I pray, dear Father, that this holy week will be truly a holy week for us as we think about and focus on the fact that you sent your Son to die for our sins. Bless this Easter and may it be the holiest one ever. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.